Gas prices worldwide have skyrocketed, and even Greenville has adjusted, bumping up the cost. Your parents are paying a lot, but what about you? I've done it again, running numbers upon numbers to answer the big question. How much are you spending on gas? I've split this video basing it upon the different Game Pass categories, including luxury, sports, non-Game Pass vehicles, electric vehicles, and classical cars. Keep in mind that certain vehicles might go farther off of one gallon than others might. Alright, so now let's start with the classic vehicles category. This Game Pass genre averages out to 20 miles per gallon. This is the 2002 Chevron Corvetta, which has the same stats. If I drive this car at 70 miles per hour, for 17 minutes and 20 seconds, my car will then run out of gas. This car has an 18 gallon tank, and if I fill it all the way up, then that would mean I would have to pay $72. If I drove for an hour, this means that I would be spending $254 on gas for that amount of time. Second off, we have the luxury vehicles category. This game pass averages out at 20 miles a gallon, which is higher than classic cars. The 2021 Stuttgart Vehengen whatever this is, has the same miles per gallon as the average. This time, driving it at 70 miles per hour for 26 minutes and 28 seconds, then my tank would run out, and I would be spending $88 on gas. So if I drove this car for an hour, then I'd be spending $203 on gas. The third category we have here is the sports vehicles category, and the sports cars have an average of 18 miles a gallon, which is the same as what the 1990 Century Excess Lior has. Uh, driving at 70 miles per hour for 19 minutes and 44 seconds, my tank will run out, and this totals up to $88 for gas. If I drove for an hour with this car, then I'd be spending $264. Now, the fourth and final category here is normal vehicles, and you don't they, these are vehicles that you don't need a pass for. Now, the car that I've got that has the same miles per gallon is the 2006 Chrysler Comercio, which looks absolutely terrible. Now, driving at 70 miles per hour in this car for 16 minutes runs the tank dry. This also means that I would have to pay $60 for those 16 minutes. So if we change this out to an hour, then I would be spending $225 on gas. And now, of course, the final category being electric vehicles, but thankfully, these are completely free no matter how much you need. Now, coming out to our conclusion, you'd have to pay the least amount for a non-Game Pass car. Oh wait, that's not right. Now, the most expensive was the Sport category, which totaled out to $264. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I think I got all the math right, but let me know. And with that, peace.